most alarmingly is the demonization of the media. Anything that, that doesn't agree with how I want things to come out is all of a sudden fake news. Are we in a post-truth world where there is actually something called alternative facts? The, the commercial media, especially when we're talking about broadcast, is extremely big business. The scary thing is you've got people out there that are pretending to be news. Uh, at best, it's opinion. At worst, it's made up. That is absolutely patently false. But because it fits with what we already want to believe, so then we'll just take it and we'll just swallow it and eat it and the truth be damned. <laughs> but we can't be like that. But you be a savvy media consumer. And uh, unless you want to go out and get your own reporting, you're going to have to trust somebody. We're living in a time of converging crises amid a pandemic, economic uncertainty, cries for social justice, riots, insurrections, and a frontline battle of truth and misinformation. We're also living in a time where the media itself has become as much of the focus as the news it covers. Mimi Girgis is a veteran broadcaster in TV and radio. She was the host and executive producer of The Mimi Girgis Show, which aired nationally for almost 16 years on Sirius XM Radio and PBS. Her show featured some of the most influential Washington, D.C. power brokers, as well as leaders and luminaries from around the world. In this interview, we discuss how the media really works from a real media insider. Does the media have its own agenda, or are they giving us exactly what we want? You decide. 